Hello and welcome back to With Secure. Today we're diving into the world of finance, especially two key terms, repo rate and inflation. We'll explore their intricate relationship and how they impact the Indian economy using real life example that you can understand. And before we begin, request you to subscribe to Bitsik here if you already haven't. And don't forget to like the video so that YouTube shows it to more people. So buckle up and let's get started. Imagine you're a bank needing some quick cash. Who do you turn to? The Reserve Bank of India, the big daddy of banks. And how do you borrow from them? Through a repo or a repurchase transaction. You basically sell government securities to the RBI with an agreement to buy them back later at a slightly higher price. The difference is the repo rate, the interest rate the RBI charges banks for those short-term loans. Repo rate, short for repurchase rate, is the rate at which the central bank which in India is the Reserve Bank of India or RBI, lends money to commercial banks for a short term, usually overnight. When the central bank wants to control the money supply in the economy or influence interest rates, it adjusts the repo rate. Remember when your favorite samosas used to cost 5 rupees? and now they're 10, that's inflation. It's the sustained rise in the prices of goods and services over time, eroding the purchasing power of your money. Inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising, eroding purchasing power. Central banks, including RBI, aim to maintain price stability and control inflation with a target within a target range. If the central bank increases the repo rate, it becomes more expensive for the commercial banks to borrow money. As a result, banks may raise their lending rates to consumers and businesses. Now, higher rate lending rates can lead to a decrease in borrowing and spending by businesses and consumers, and this in turn can lead to a reduction in overall demand for goods and services in the economy. Reduced demand can help control inflationary pressures because there is less upward pressure on prices when demand is moderate. In other words, when prices are skyrocketing, RBI can hike the repo rate. This makes borrowing from RBI more expensive for banks, discouraging them from lending further. This reduces the amount of money circulating in the economy, eventually cooling down inflation. If prices are stagnant, RBI might cut the repo rate. This makes borrowing cheaper, encouraging banks to lend more money boosting the economic activity, and hopefully pushing inflation up to a healthy level. Now suppose RBI observes that inflation is rising beyond the targeted range. Now to counteract this, RBI may decide to increase the repo rate. As the repo rate increases, commercial banks find it more expensive to, to borrow from the central bank. In response, these banks may increase their lending rates to consumers and businesses. Now, higher lending rates can lead to reduced borrowing for investments and consumption. Businesses may postpone expansion plans and consumers may cut back on spending. The slowdown in eco economic activity helps cool down the demand pull inflationary pressure. In 2023, India faced rising inflation due to global factors like the Ukraine war and domestic fuel price hikes. 
RBI responded by gradually increasing the repo rate from 4% to 5.4% currently. This rate hike is expected to curb inflation in the long run, but it can also slow down economic growth in the short term. It's important to note that the relationship between the repo rate and inflation is just one aspect of the complex economic system. Various other factors, both domestic and international, also influence inflation. Central banks, including RBI, use a combination of monetary policy tools to achieve their objectives, aiming for a balance between economic growth and price stability. The repo rate and inflation are crucial dancers in the, in the economy. Understanding their relationship is key to making informed financial decisions, whether you're a business owner, an investor, or just someone trying to stretch your rupees further. Thanks for joining me on this exploration of repo rate and inflation. Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful finance videos and hit that notification bell to stay updated and do share your views in the comments. Until next time, happy learning.